This is coming from TMZ in page six. Jonathan Majors ordered to stay away from ex-girlfriend, alleged domestic violence victim. Jonathan Majors ex granted restraining order after alleged domestic dispute. This is getting messy, but let's get into the details. Hey, what's going on everyone? It is B. Avery with another episode of Just My Opinion Reviews. And if you happen to like this video, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. If we look at the article right here, they do have the exclusive details. They have been dropping everything first. Jonathan Majors has been ordered to keep away from the ex-girlfriend he allegedly assaulted. TMZ has learned, but his team still denies he attacked her. A rep for the Manhattan DA's office tells TMZ a judge granted a full temporary order of protection Thursday for the alleged victim. At her request, we're told Majors didn't oppose the request and the case is scheduled to return to court in a couple of weeks. Now, I want to go ahead and say, guys, over here, we are not coming to any conclusions. We are just reading the reports. We have to wait on the court date, which is either May 8th or May 9th, and we have to wait on all of the facts. I'm just talking about what all the reports say. Admittedly, I do want Jonathan Majors to be innocent because I am a fan of his work. I think he's a great talent, and I hope that he is innocent, but if he is guilty, then and he will have to pay the consequences like everybody else. But again, I'm not coming to any conclusions over here. Majors attorney Priya Chaudhry tells us we consented because Mr. Majors wants nothing to do with the woman who assaulted him, adding their team provided evidence from a doctor and trauma specialist, which they insist backs up his side of the story. Chaudhry goes on to say, it's disturbing that even when presented with this incontrovertible evidence, the district attorney continues this false case. And this was a screenshot of her going to the club for hours after the alleged incident, which I'll touch on in just a second. TMZ broke the story. Major's legal team submitted security footage, which they say shows his ex went to a nightclub after the alleged attack and didn't seem to be injured at all. As you know, the alleged Majors broke her finger. As you know, she alleges Majors broke her finger and left a laceration behind her ear. We asked the DA for comment regarding the surveillance video, but they have yet to respond. If she says that her finger was broken in the alleged assault with Jonathan Majors and she wasn't able to use it because it was broken, how is she able to use that broken finger at the club for hours, which they suppose have footage of? It doesn't mean that he did or didn't do it just because she went to the club hours after the alleged incident. But if she says that she broke her finger and she's using her finger for hours at the club, which they suppose have video footage of, that does seem a little fishy. Also, Insider speaks out about Hollywood turning cold to Jonathan Majors as actor bows out of Met Gala and more following allegations. In conversations with Page Six, an unnamed source discussed the situation surrounding this latest development. Apparently, the decision for Jonathan Majors not to take part was a mutual one. As the actors team and fashion house Valentina agreed on skipping next Monday's iconic event, to that effect, the anonymous insider had the following to say about the Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania star's current situation. It's no surprise that his phone is ringing much less these days. That's what's happening in all walks of life, but especially in Hollywood's friends turn cold. Now you can continue to read further if you want, but in my opinion, that's a nothing burger. I mean, what are you doing? Making an assumption? Like you didn't provide any names or any sources. You're just saying, hey, I bet his phone went cold. I mean, how do you know this? Did people that contact Jonathan Majors on a normal basis hit you up and be like, hey, I just want to let you know because he's a layers of all these assaults, I'm contacting Jonathan Majors less that doesn't really make any sense to me unless I'm really misunderstanding what they're saying here. You guys let me know. But guys, this is also important. Last week from TMZ, Jonathan Major's video witness proved I didn't strike ex-girlfriend. She went to the club afterwards. Check this out. And I covered it last week. And I just think it's very, very important. Further, the Creed 3 star says the driver will testify. He never struck the alleged victim in any way at any time or even raised his voice. Majors and his attorney also say the driver saw her hitting, scratching, and attacking Jonathan. 
and that Jonathan asked the driver to stop the car so he could escape her attack, which he did. The woman allegedly told police she suffered a broken finger and a laceration behind her ear during the altercation. However, in the document, Chaudhry says they have proof that's a complete lie. And this is very important as well, and you can read this link in the description box below. In the document, Chaudhry claims body cam footage shows police interviewing the woman and clearly coaching her to say that Mr. Majors grabbed her by the throat. Sadri claims the alleged victim never made that claim to anyone prior to the officer's direction. Now that is a very important piece to this puzzle that everyone is trying to solve, but I advise everyone not to try to solve it until all of the facts come out and until the court date. This is nothing but speculation. Again, we're not coming to any conclusions. I am just reading what the reports say, but everything is back and forth. This man is losing his management team, his PR team. He's losing ads. He's losing movie roles. Things are falling apart for this brother, but things are going back and forth. Sometimes it seems like he's guilty. Sometimes it seems like he's innocent. I'm rooting for the man. I hope that he's innocent, but I'm not coming to any conclusions until all the facts drop and until the court date on May 8th. But again, guys, there's links to all those articles in the description box of this video. Please let me know what you think. I am dying to know. Let's keep it classy in the comment section. Also, if you are into the Dear Mama documentary series on Tupac and his mother, Afani Shakur, I do have recaps on my channel if you want to go check that out episodes one and episodes two new episodes will be dropping every friday and i will be covering those as well and also guys if you would like to check out my fresh out of the theater reaction for guardians of the galaxy volume three that is posted on my channel as well and i'm also preparing myself to give you guys my full non-spoilery review but guys, again, I just want to thank you so much for tuning in. And before you go, don't forget that I'm B. Avery. That's just my opinion. Peace out, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>